remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? I just watched a video of a woman having a discussion with a couple of women who I'm presuming to be her daughters. One was on screen, one was off. There were two infant children sleeping nearby who I think were her grandchildren. Now, the woman said that the new generation, the millennials, got it all effed up. Because I became a grandparent does not automatically make me a babysitter or daycare. True grandparents are supposed to raise their children right so that when they start having kids, they can financially provide for their own children and secure their daycare so that they can go to work, so they can go out or anything else. Grandparents are supposed to send for kids. She said that it is not the other way around. You don't just send your kids to the grandparents. She also said that if there's a situation where the mother and the father are no longer together, then you have the kids during the week. The father takes the kids on the weekends. What do y'all think about that? Does having children automatically make your parents, the grandparents, babysitters. Here's what I think about that. I can agree with some of the things that the grandmother said because, and it's based on conditions. For me, it depends on if the parents are responsible parents or not. Or if the parents are just trying to have a good time and don't want to be bothered with their children. Because that adage about it takes a village to raise a child could not be truer, especially today. You need to support a family to raise these kids properly. I know we got off track because some people started getting the big head thinking, I got this, I don't need nobody, I don't need no help. I got this, I'm going to do it all by myself. You cannot possibly be with those kids all along, all the time. Impossible. So maybe you let allow some strangers to keep your children and you just want to be able to say, my parents and none of my family members helped me at all. But you cannot possibly be with those kids 24 hours a day. Now, the grandmother also attributed this mentality, whereas the grandparents are automatically the babysitter, to the dysfunction of the black family. I really don't think this is exclusive to black parenting. This is a United States of America thing. I personally believe that Americans, the whole American family is dysfunctional because, you know, you can go to certain parts of the world like India and Asia and it's automatic that grandparents and cousins and uncles and stuff like that and, and, and aunts. Everybody kind of look after each other. It really is a village. Many of these communities, you will have, you know, three, four, five families living under one roof. And they make it work. And they don't be going through all those divorces and all that kind of stuff. They make it work. Now, of course, anybody can always say, well, you know, there's some pros and some cons to it and and I ain't going to get into all of that. But I will say that Americans have a propensity to throw away their elderly and, and the youth. 
You know, we love shooting the kids to the daycares and to these strangers, you know, like, and sometimes that might be an option, but then other times they may not be because we're so conditioned to not look out to, after each other like we used to. So the daycares are getting all the money and the daycares and the maids and all these type of people are raising our children. So we're making more money, but we have a wider disconnect because we're not raising our own children. A lot of these kids are growing up with behavior issues because they're mad at their parents because they don't see them. Parents are always working. And you know, it's it's a it's a catch it's a catch twenty two thing going on because, you know, you gotta get the bag, you know, you gotta you know, the kids want these nice things and everybody wanna live in a nice house and everybody wanna ride a nice car, everybody wants nice stuff. But and somebody got to go out and work for it. I think that if, if we had a better mentality about, you know, working together, using our support system, our family support system, and we were closer like that, I think we'd be better off. My kids used to stay with their grandmother at times. And sometimes with their, their aunt, who was their grandmother's sister. They were really the only ones that we trusted. But when they would stay, there was no staying with them like for days at a time. And if we went out somewhere, we went and got our kids the same night. There was no staying overnight. We would we we never allowed ourselves to get lazy like that because we loved being around our kids. Now their grandmother never had a problem with it. Their aunt never had a problem with it. They loved them, but we loved them more, I say. So we just loved being around our kids. And we took them everywhere, all the vacations. They went on every single vacation we ever went on. Like, we didn't just leave them at the house. If, if they couldn't go, we didn't go. You know, so I think it boils down to whether or not these parents are responsible or irresponsible. If the parent is irresponsible, that is a very big difference there because this is the parent that don't want nothing to do with the kid, just dropping the kids off, they be gone. Kids don't see their mama, daddy for, for, for days and weeks, sometimes even months. They just, they pop them out, drop them, pop them, drop them, pop them, drop them. You know, so there's a big difference between the irresponsible parent who will drop their kid off because they don't want nothing to do with them and that parent who will call on the grandparents to step in from time to time and babysit and allow them to uh, have a break or take care of business when things get hectic. But what say you? Going back to the original question, does a parent having a baby automatically make their parents babysitters. Drop a comment. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about?